Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Unreal Engine C++ training series, where today we're going to be talking about pointers. We're going to do some pretty cool stuff with pointers. Um, pointers in C++, if you're, if you're not familiar, I'll uh, link uh, some documentation down, down in the description down below. But what we're going to be doing with pointers is accessing data from other classes inside of uh, our, ca our character class. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to spawn an object and teleport to that object. Simple, easy, but it's a great way um, that we can use pointers at, in an introductory fashion. All right, and without further ado, let's get inside of the engine. First things first, I'm going to get rid of the fire code like usual. Or I'm going to get rid of the uh, fire sound code, rather. And for this, I am using the first person template, as you can see here. And to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the tutorial projectile.cpp and we're going to change a few va values because what, what I want to happen is I want to be able to spawn the, the projectile and just have it stay in midair in one single place so that we can teleport to it at any time. So I'm going to set its initial speed to zero. I'm going to set, set its initial lifespan to zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the projectile movement and set its gravity to zero. So with this, the we should be able to spawn the projectile and it stays literally the exact place where we spawned it. All right, easy enough. Now we're going to move, uh, we're gonna actually close this because we don't need that anymore. And let's move over, move over to the character header and let's get together. We're gonna create a bool be can telly. And so if this is going, if this is gonna be true, then we'll be able to teleport. If it's false, then we'll, then we'll obviously not be able to teleport. So created that value here in the, uh, in the character header and go, coming back up to the character constructor, I'm gonna set it to false. So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're going to click the left mouse button, spawn the actor, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the left mouse button again and be able to teleport to that. Now you can do this in, in other different ways, but here I'm just demonstrating um, the ability to uh, use pointers to do this kind of cool stuff. So if B can telly is false, then we're going to fire. So all of this fire code is going to get moved into that if statement. And then else, we're going to teleport. And we're also going to make sure that B can telly is equal to false after we do this. And after the gun is fired, we want to set B can telly equal to true. Okay, so easy enough. What we should be able to do is come into here, compile, click the left mouse button once, the gun fires, click it again, it doesn't. And it'll be able to, to go on in a cycle like that. So we're waiting for it to compile and it's done. Hit play. I fire. I click it again. I fire. I click it again. Nothing happens. Oh, and the ball is actually disappearing on us. And that is because even though we set the value uh, for the lifespan in the projectile to zero, the blueprint actually doesn't reflect that. So if we come into the blueprint, we'll see down here that the 
actor's initial lifespan is actually still at three. So if we hit that that yellow arrow down there, we'll be able to go ahead and spawn it. And after three seconds, it stays here with us. All right, now that that's fixed, we can go in to our teleportation code and actually make it work. But first, what we need, we need to be able to teleport to that specific object. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a pointer to that object. And since that object is in the class of, of tutorial projectile, what we're going to do is we're going to create a forward declaration. So class tutorial and we're going to create a pointer and I'm just going to call it telly to this because we're going to be teleporting to this. All right, so we got that going on right there in the header file and in the constructor, I'm going to come back up here and I'm actually going to set it equal to null pointer just to make sure that right off the bat, um, right off the bat, we're not going to have any issues of this being assigned to any specific value of memory. So it's going to be set to null pointer. And now we can come in and write the teleportation code. Teleportation is actually really easy in Unreal Engine. What we can do is we can say teleport to or what I actually prefer is I prefer set actor location and rotation, why not? So we're going to set it to telly to this and we're going to set it, uh, we're going to set its new location to telly to this is location. So we're going to get location of that. And our new rotation is just going to be the control rotation that we have already. So that's easy enough. But the problem is, is that we have telly to this, but we didn't actually set which teleportation object we're going to set that to. So we can come in here and if we look at spawn actor, we can see that it actually returns a pointer to the projectile class. So what we can do is we can just say telly to this equal to it. So now when we spawn the actor, the pointer for telly to this will point to the address of the actor that we just spawned, which is really cool. All right, so we've got all this set up now. What you wanna do is you wanna actually destroy the actor so you can get a new one uh, once it's teleported. So telly to this, destroy. And then we're gonna set it equal to null pointer again, just to make sure that it's not pointing to anything invalid. So hopefully save and come back in and compile. What we should be able to do is we should be able to grab the address of the actor that we just spawned when we click the left mouse button and be able to use the data from that address and be able to get its location and teleport to its location. So what we can do is hit play and hopefully I'm gonna click that works so far, that didn't break, which is really cool. And I'm gonna left mouse button again and teleported directly to where that object was. So even if I come over here, on the completely other side of the teleport right on over here. So that's one way of using, of using pointers in, in C++. So when you access telly to this, we have access to all of the functions and values that are made public or friended um, in this class. So we can get all kinds of different information from it. We can get material information, we can get location, rotation, 
whatever we want basically as long as it's public. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. Next time we're going to be doing something a little bit more interesting. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. But if not, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.